It's been a long off season. We've done a lot and accomplished a lot in that off season, but game prep this week, you know, actually having a real opponent on paper and get scouting reports and everything, it's a little bit of a different feel. You know, it's been great. You know, our younger players have definitely stepped up. We have um, a lot of mature upperclassmen that are stepping up big and Deja Rawls and, you know, Carolina Severova. So the energy's been great and, you know, we're excited to get on the court. I think playing at Penn State, you know, even when I was at Northwestern in the Big Ten, anytime you go into a hostile environment, it's their homecoming weekend, so there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people. Football plays Rutgers the next day. There's a parade. There's a men's game before. Us. So there's a lot of extra stuff going on, but what we really have to focus on is that 40 minutes in between the lines. And, you know, we're going into a storied women's basketball program. While a lot of their faces have changed uh, since last year and their best player um, dislocated her ankle this summer and she's maybe playing, may not, um, I think the biggest challenge for our team going into this game is not worrying about who they're playing or where they're playing, but what they're doing on the court. You know, it's definitely going to be a challenge, but you know, that's what, you know, preseason is for, to get us ready for season. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a great learning opportunity for our team, and I can't wait to start the season. So. And I think uh, as a coach, you can only do so much, but the fact that we have four seniors on the court, um, in a lot of ways, they prepare everybody because they know what it's going to take. So I haven't had to worry about it, a lot of the little things that you have to with a young team. Um, you know, we're... I think we're prepared as we're going to be. Uh, we got a couple more days to get ready for Penn State, and um, we'll see what happens Friday night.